everyone and welcome to Nutrichem's recipe videos. Today I'm going to be showing you some quick and simple recipes that are not only anti-inflammatory but really great for the gut. So the first one we're going to be making today is our roasted garlic and cauliflower soup. So first we have our roasted cauliflower. Now I've roasted this in the oven at about 375 for 40 to 50 minutes depending on your oven settings. So first we're going to go ahead and put this into the blender. So the great thing about this soup that it's all actually made in, right in your blender. You don't even have to have a Vitamix, you can use whatever you have at home. Now we're going to add in some roasted garlic and onion. Now I've done the same with these and roasted them at about 375 for about half hour to 40 minutes. And then we're going to add our broth. So I like to use an organic vegetable broth, but feel free to use whatever you have at home. You can also use chicken or beef. And now remember, if you're purchasing your broth from the store, make sure that it's not only organic, but it doesn't have a lot of extra added ingredients. A lot of broths in the supermarket shelves will have things added like sugar or caramel color. And better yet, if you can make it on your own, I highly recommend to do so. So now that we have our main ingredients here, we're gonna to wanna to add a little extra flavor. I love using turmeric as it also has anti-inflammatory benefits. So depending on your taste buds, you can usually start to about half a teaspoon and work your way up to a full heaping teaspoon. Now we're gonna add a little bit of extra protein. So if you're looking to use this more as a meal rather than a side, I highly suggest to add protein like our pure collagen. So collagen has so many great benefits to so not only strengthening our joints and ligaments, but it's also a great source of protein that helps us to keep full in between meals. And last but not least, we're gonna add some salt and pepper just to give it some flavor. I prefer to use Himalayan salt, but you can also feel free to use whatever you have at home. Blend it all up and then it's ready to go. Now depending on how you like the texture of the soup, you can do one of two things. You can either blend it fully or you can blend it in on pulse just to keep it a little bit more texture. So now you can see the turmeric has given our soup a beautiful yellow color. And then to even boost the protein and healthy fats a bit more, I really like to add toasted sesame oil. So you can also do a drizzle of that on top along with some hemp seeds. Now for hemp, I usually recommend doing about one to two tablespoons when adding it to a bowl of soup. And there you have it, a super simple cauliflower soup that takes under five minutes to whiz together.